How are you doing? Okay, I'm, uh, I'm sitting in a smoking room of a local cafe just down the street from my apartment, condo, whatever you want to call it. They call it apartment here, but I think back home we'd call it a condo. Um, I love this, huh? Harvey, that'd be a great photograph. Okay, and as you can see, I'm smoking a rather unusual pipe. Um, so, Bucho Com, I, I bought it many, many years ago. And um, I go through phases, I guess. I, sometimes I smoke it a lot. I haven't smoked it in a long time until recently. So a couple of days ago. Um, I mean, you could call it a church warden, but the truth is, it's just. just it's just an oversized pipe, because um, because the bowl is proportionately huge to the length of the stem, and, and this bowl I can fit my entire pinky in it. Um, haven't tried anything else, um, but yeah, it's 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 you know got the very long stem. It's got a wind cap, and it's got a very unusual carving on the bottom of the pipe here. Uh, that you know, it looks very antique, but I don't think it. It's based on a, a clay design that I've ever seen. Now this is not original. I believe the original was white, like in the original, however it's pronounced, series that Buchokan has out. Uh, unfortunately, right, you know when you're a kid and you go to unplug something and you grab it, you know, from 10 feet away and you pull the cord out and you're not supposed to do that? Kind of the same thing here. This is basically one piece. This, this is glued on down there. It's, it's one piece, and many years ago I went to clean it, and it was a little tight down here, and I pulled it, I twisted it from up here, and unfortunately as I did so, I cracked the whole the whole thing right there. So I took it to the pipe shop. I think it was the first time I ever had a pipe repaired. I didn't know what was involved in that. Uh, I, I thought they would just glue it together in a professional way, but no, they, they replaced the whole, the whole thing there, uh, which is fine. I was a little disappointed at the time that it wasn't the original, but no, no problem now. Two things I'll say about the wind cap. I think this will, it's not locked now, but I mean, it will lock down like that. Problem is, when you go to light it, you gotta open it, and this is red hot. So you gotta open it ah, like that or so. Uh, the other thing I'll say about it, I don't know why it did this, it was very strange. I mean, Bucho Khan being a reputable company and all that. Um, well, there's this, con okay, this, first of all, the, the, there's metal on the bow, and the wind cap is attached to that by a, I don't want to say hasp, clasp, whatever. And they just put a little pin in there, and the pin would just slide out. It was like, it was only one end was, had like a, you know, a head on it. The other one would had nothing and it would just slide out every time. So I kept sliding out and I kept sliding it back in and one day I just eventually I, don't know, I got I lost it or just got tired of it. Took it out and put a nail in here. This is actually a nail, I doubt if you can see it, but this is a nail and I put a and I, I bent it, crimped it, or bent it there so so that it won't it won't slide out. Um, and it works just as fine as the old. But in terms of opening, in terms of yeah. Anyway. And what am I smoking? Because this is such a big pipe, I've um, and because I'm out and about, and I just have a few tobaccos with me, and some of the tobaccos <coughs> I had with me, like I said, it's a huge pipe. Um, I'm smoking. Um, I'm working my way through Barbary Coast, which is a pretty good blend. <coughs> Not sure I'll buy it again, but I'm, I'm enjoying it now. Um, however, it's burly. Burly tends to bite me if I go too fast, and I thought smoking a whole bowl of this would just be uh, pushing it. Yeah, a little bit of a gurgle in there now. Um, I have other tobaccos with me, but they were ones that I didn't want to smoke this much of, like the Or Orlam, which um, I have Or Orlam. From C and D, it's uh, it's okay, but I don't really love it. I don't want to smoke a whole bowl of it. And I have the 
the the what's it called the the Rincon de la Pipa numero uno, which um, which is okay, but I, I don't I'm, I'm near the end of the bowl, and I'm, I'm not first of all I'm not sure I would be able to fill this up with all of it, and second of all the pieces were very small, so I thought I was really afraid of sucking it up in here and stuff. So so what I did is I, I layered this pipe, which I don't usually do, but I have or orlan in the bottom. The pipa de you know, the Rincon de la Pipa in the in the middle and Barbary Coast on top. And I'm, I'm in the middle now. So get some out of key in here at last. So my question to you is now I realize most of you uh, depending on where you are cannot smoke in public or you know, very restricted in, in where you can smoke nowadays. But assuming you can smoke in public, or that you used to smoke in public, or imagine that you could smoke anywhere in public, do you have any pipes that you normally would not smoke in public? Like this is one. Um, it's, it's it's too unusual to smoke in public. Um, it, it gets some looks, but I think here in Korea, I mean, pipes are so not smoked in Korea that people just look at, oh, he's smoking a pipe. Uh, so that's the question to you. Do you have any pipes that you don't normally smoke in, that you wouldn't smoke in public, that you normally wouldn't smoke in public, um, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So do you have any pipes that you wouldn't normally smoke in public? Uh, and my friends, I am enjoying my pipe. Hope you're enjoying yours. Ta-ta. And, and here's some R code.